Hey guys, this is Sarn and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while. I always say this in my intro. I always say like, oh, it's been a while. But it has been a while since I uploaded anything. Um, I mean, talk worthy. Um, so I'm back. And uh, today I have something really exciting. I was going to film this video like a while back, but then I got really caught up with things and I just forgot to film it. So, but tonight I was like, it's such a whim because I was not planning this. So I decided to film this um, video, which is an unboxing. I did this, I think, about a year ago. It's almost like exactly a year ago. And it was like a luxury unboxing uh, video. And it was like for my Gucci bag. And today, which the Gucci bag is like right there in the bag. Making presents. <laughs> oh, tonight, I have tonight. Well, it's actually like, what time is it right now? I'm filming this video like really late because it's not my usual filming hours. Like I usually film like during the daytime, but right now it's almost like it's 8.30. So um, it's like I said, it's out of a whim and um, it's going to be a really exciting box. And it's going to be a huge one. As you, I hope you can see it. <laughs> Louis Vuitton unboxing video. I know that you guys might think like, oh my god, it's just flourishing, but sometimes you kind of have to. So let's go get right into it. Sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder. Like I said, it's been a while since I filmed something. My experience at shopping at Louis Vuitton is actually similar to the one at Gucci. Um, really helpful staff. Sorry, I'm really nasally. Why do I always film when I'm sick? I don't know. That I always feel when I'm sick. Um, anyways, I went to the one in Zurich, and um, the first thing when you walk in, uh, there's like a staff right there at the front waiting. So they're gonna ask you like what you're looking for, and they're gonna just uh, assign a person to you. So that's gonna cater to your needs. And that was what happened. I went and there with. Oh, actually, I went alone this time. I was on my own, told them exactly what I was looking for, and they assisted me on that, and um, like I said, really nice staff, and they asked me if I wanted it in a box, and I was like, why not? So, this is the box that it came in. It's actually really, the box is really huge for the bag. The bag is actually not that big, but they gave it a really huge bag. So it comes in a, a pouch, like all bags, uh, all luxurious bags. So it comes in a Louis Vuitton pouch. This one's actually different than the other pouches I've seen. It's a big reveal. So I got the Montaigne, is it called Montaigne? Montaigne Louis Vuitton MM bag. MM stands for medium, like medium size. And it also has a big one, but I decided to go for it because I don't want a big bag. I like so far I've purchased like just a reasonable size is what it comes to bags. I don't like carrying big bags and I don't have a lot of things to carry. So I don't I'm not like one of those that have a lot of things in their bag. Just the bag that I chose. This is the Montaigne uh and then yeah. here's the pouch that it comes in. Um like I said, it's the, it has a really logo on it. So so you open like this. First of all, it looks like this. Has that beautiful embroidery on it, and um, the inside it has three different compartments, really spacious uh, compartments, and um, it comes in a little pouch, and inside it, this is like a, an accessory type of lock, and the key is actually hidden in this small um, Le Vuitton um, embroidery. In compartment coat. and I'll you can just open up this lock with that it's embroidered kind of compartment where you can just zip it up or just keep it safe in there and also the other compartments you can use for different things it has a pocket right here you can put your phone or something in there and I'll, so it's really spacious like I said and um, this one right here is such a cool detail of it secured right here um, since the bag doesn't have a big zipper in the middle, you can actually secure it with this. And just put it right there. And here we go. It's closed. 
notice the small details right here. It also have the blue baton on the ground on it. Knowing me, I don't carry a lot of things in my bag. I usually have my wallet, my phone. Actually, I don't put my phone in my bag. So, let me rephrase that. I usually have my wallet, a couple of lipsticks. When I say a couple, I'm lying. I care about two lipsticks because I don't even care in the sizes. Yeah. So, I, a couple of lipsticks in my bag. I have a beauty blender. Just, I don't know, ketchup. Never had to look at the mirror. And, um, that's it. So, there are like five items in my bag. I don't usually carry anything. That's, that's why I never film what's in my bag video. Because I don't have anything else in my bag. I don't have a lot of things in my bag. I don't put anything else in my bag. So, it's going to be like a, a really boring bag. So, that's why I usually opt for a smaller bag. A smaller, reasonable, cute bag. That's what I did with my Gucci bag. That's what I did again. But this one is actually bigger than my Gucci bag, so I'm gonna just show you like how it looks like. It looks like this on the side. I like how it has like this detail, creamy detail, like on the handles. Actually, the strap is really long. Here's the thing: when you buy the Montaigne, um, I, I don't know what it's called, the big one. I think it's a B or something like that. If you purchase that one, the strap is actually shorter. I don't understand it, but it's actually like that. And this one is the smallest one, and the strap is really long. I'm just gonna stand and demonstrate. So, it reaches up to my hips. My bag just lays like that on the crutch. So, this is me wearing it as a crossbody, by the way. And then, if I turn to the side, it reaches back, like, it covers up my ass. Like, it just does that. That's how long the strap is. So keep that in mind if you purchase the same type of bag. But if you are like me and you feel don't like a bigger bag, I don't, I, can, I just can't, you can't catch me dead carrying a big bag. That's just not me. So um, that's why I opt for this. But get, mind you, it has a lot of compartments, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that compartment. It has about three compartments. One, two, and this one you can open up. Three. Three compartments and it also has side like side pockets that you can put certain things like let's say your phone in there. Like I told you previously when I bought my Gucci bag, I'm like the type of girl that doesn't carry a big bag because I just feel like it just takes so much hassle. Like carrying those big bags that hurts your bag like that. So I'm not I don't do pain. I don't like doing pain. So what I did, I always go for a small bag. Even like my usual handbags like the ones that I carry, the one from Zara, the one oh if you are interested in in me doing like a handbag collection let me know give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment. So I'm gonna show you like the my non luxury bags that I have so you can have an idea and see what type of girl I am, what type of handbag girl I am. My H M and Zara bags they're all small. The thing with me is I just look for a precise precise and um like well crafted or well detailed bags and that's what i always do and um with the gucci bag i did that because it had that really cool um, um wood crystals and stuff like that that's like the reason i bought my gucci bag because the detail was just bomb and i had to get it and i felt like it would also like spice up an outfit this is the same thing with this bag like the same type of that's what i always envision when i go for a bag it's like i want to see if that is gonna make an outfit or kill an outfit because I don't want a bag which is gonna overpower my outfit or just kind of bring down the type of outfits that I have on. This is the thing with this. It has a, the Louis Vuitton logo embroidered all over it. It has a really nice strap. Like right now I just have a simple body, like a simple black body on and you can just see the strap and it just like makes it kind of like takes a really basic outfit and kind of gives it a, a like an um, and kind of brings up a notch. So that's what I always look for. And that's what I feel like people should look into. You should not just buy a bag just because of the name. And I feel like a lot of people do that. And I feel like it's just something that you, you should not be focused on. You should just be focused on and how many, I always envision how many outfits I can work around that bag or work around that, that certain item. So that's what I always do when I, 
there's just a certain thing. If I can envision like five outfits, then I know that like it's gonna be a right decision if I purchase that bag. So like I feel like people should like keep that in mind, like purchasing a certain like big purchase, big purchase as in like designer purchase, like even if it's sneakers or something like that. I always like envision in my head if this if that's that color is gonna match an outfit or if that that color is gonna make my outfit pop. I'm just not gonna buy a certain thing just because it's hype. I never did that. I'm, I will never do that even. Like I always just look for interesting pieces that's gonna make an outfit pop. And that's about it. I love doing these kind of videos, the big reveal kind of videos, like unboxing type of videos. Last year I said like I'm gonna talk how my experiences with the Gucci bag. I love my Gucci bag. I love it a lot. It's like everything I wanted in a bag. So hopefully you're gonna love this one too and I'm gonna keep updated on it. Give me a comment down below. And let me know if this is the type of videos that you want to see, whether it's unboxing a luxury uh, item or just like even, let's say a try on haul. I will be more than happy to film that type of videos for you guys. So let me know if you are interested in that. I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's actually that red button to my left down below. I'm gonna insert it right here if you want. Just hit click, become a part of my family. Don't forget to like to hit the notification bell. And if you do that, you're gonna get a notification every time I upload a video, which is awesome. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your brand that you're like, oh my god, this is like my favorite because um, it represents the type of style I have. Or I just love how they always like, da da da. You know, like just let me know your reason and why you like that, that brand. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I have an Instagram. My Twitter is actually, I never use it anymore. I used to be so like Twitter savvy. I used to be on Twitter a lot back in the days, but that was like five, six years ago. So yeah, only social media account I have is Instagram. So if you want, I'm really active on it. You can go follow me. Every detail on this bag, I'm going to leave it down below on the description box. So don't forget to check it out. So see you guys soon with a new video. Adios. <laughs>